how, you know, I, I love romance and um, watching films with, you know, sweeping um, uh, romantic scenes and relationships. And that's fun for a while, but, you know, that's not real life. And um, it can be moments of real life, but, um, it, you know, I feel like one of the things that we don't get enough in our, our culture is hearing about the real ups and downs that happen in relationships. Hearing about when it gets hard and when people decide to keep coming back to each other. Um, and so this is, it's, it's a love song, but it's also about, um, about some of the, the harder moments and um, the kind of questions that arise in these moments and um, what we do to, to push through them. So again, this is called Every Day. And 
um, you know, it wouldn't be a boy band show if we didn't have one intimate moment on stools. So, give it up for the stools. They're doing all the work on the
everyone to you a little bit in a little bit. But for now, we're going to put spotlight on Dill Billy. Dill Billy is, yes, um, Dill Billy's an amazing, very talented artist in their own right, singer, songwriter, band leader, multi-instrumentalist. And we couldn't have them here playing for, with us without doing a song with theirs. So this is Dill Billy and also with Rhonda.
than the recording, if you can believe it. Um, we got, uh, well, I was going to say a call, but it was actually an email, but a call um, from Utah Presents, which is um, an arts presenting organization connected to the University of Utah. And um, who was at um, Man to Man last year where we did a queer story of the boy band? <laughs> yeah, excellent. Well, they want us to do that show, to do the full show and present it in their, um, their next main stage season. So this is really, really exciting. Um, one, because we get a chance to really do the show in full and uh, to see it through into its full length version and um, to revisit it, all the, the fun parts, the polyamorous tap dance, um, all of the, the fun audience participation moments, and not skip over things like, I want to set you up. Big let down, I know, last time. Um, so um, we're really excited and just thrilled by this opportunity to also just take what we're doing um, to the next level, both in artistry, um, professionalism, and also to be taking um, some of the, the Bay Area culture that has really supported us as queer and trans and gender non-conforming artists and taking that out to other places where there's just less of it happening, less of that conversation and um, less of those images circulating. So we are super, super excited um, to be going out to Utah in April 2018. So. So this is also a huge undertaking, and um, you know, you all just being here tonight is the gift in itself. But if you do um, are interested in supporting our work more, we will be taking donations after the show to go toward both the recording project and toward building this show um, to take to Utah. And then also, we're going to debut at University of Utah, um, then do it here in the Bay Area, and then we'd like that to kickstart a tour um, to um, other parts with the same show in the, the following summer. So another way you can help us, um, if not with money, is with your contacts. If you know anyone anywhere in the country, anywhere in the world, um, we are seeking right now um, other bookings of this show. So please let us know um, any, any lead, anything, um, however small, um, our fantastic um, manager, booking agent, I don't know what you want to be called, Beatrice Thomas, but she's going to follow up on that. <laughs> and uh, make it happen. So um, we would love your support with, with any of these future endeavors. Um, so this next song is a song actually that we did in the show last year and that we do a lot in our, uh, our performances. This is an original song that I wrote, the first original that we did as a band. And um, it was inspired by the life and death of Leela Alcorn who was a, a trans teenager who uh, committed suicide by walking onto an Ohio highway in 2014. And this, um, this transition in her, her life came um, at, a, at, at kind of a turning point, um, or a breaking point, I should say, in, um, in her life, having experienced ongoing um, abuse from her family, from her peers, from her community, and um, this is a, a song that I took some of the lyrics um, and adapted them from the final note that, that Lila left. And um, we do it, one, to try to express um, some of what might be going on um, for queer and trans youth trying to navigate um, their identities in the larger world. Also, us as uh, older queer, trans, and GNC folks um, to say, we hear you, we understand, we've been there and, um, and um, we, we want to support you in the ways that we can. Um, so this song is called A Lonelier Woman. Thank you. 